Hey y'all, Duster Dan here signing on for another tips, tricks, and helpful hints video. Now this one's a quality control issue guys, and I just wanted to really bring this to the forefront of everyone's awareness out here because every time, and I mean every time without exception, every single time I hear somebody or see somebody else putting on a roof, a comp shingle roof <clears throat> excuse me I hear this tragic process taking place and and with 30 years roofing experience I know what's happening and so let me kind of clue y'all in on what I'm talking about now from the manufacturer the all the uh, roofing manufacturers have a recommendation as to where they expect <clears throat> where they expect us to nail their shingles to the roof and if we do not nail the shingles in this particular area the particular way that they recommend it will void the warranty on your shingles which voids the warranty on your roof so let me tell you about this nail line Okay, this nail line on this particular shingle is exactly a half an inch above the course line where the next shingle is supposed to overlap to. Just like that. Okay, so if you were to remove this shingle, you can see that course line there. Where is it? Right there. And then the nailing line is right across here. You can see it's faint, but that's where the manufacturer recommends the nails uh, be installed. Now, why is it very important <clears throat> besides the manufacturer's warranty? Why is it important to hit the nails on that line? As you see, I've done. I'll show you why because the difference between where the bottom portion of this laminated shingle ends on the top side and where the lamination begins on the underside is only about three quarters of an inch thick. In other words, you only have about three quarters of an inch strip all the way across the shingle where those nails have to go in not only to maintain your manufacturer's warranty on your shingles but also for those nails to hold both layers of this laminated shingle now getting on to the industry issue every time i hear somebody else or see somebody else putting on a shingle roof a comp shingle roof I hear from the distance rapid fire succession coming from all their nail guns and this is without exception. It sounds just short of a machine gun, usually at least six shots which they upsell to the customer because their nails are going up in here. If they're really lucky at that speed they might get them through the two layers of successive shingle but they will not be getting them through the double layer where they're required to go now what happens is even if you get them up here through this shingle and through that shingle you're on, this is only one layer thick up here that's one layer thick and what happens is you get a good wind and it rips those nails right out why because it's not going through both layers on this shingle. So the next time somebody puts a roof on your house, the next time you put a roof on your house, or the next time you hear somebody going pop 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 I want everyone to realize there is no way in God's green earth that they are hitting the nail pattern where it's supposed to go to keep that roof 
intact for the next 30, 50, 70, 80 years. The manufacturer claims a lifetime warranty on these now and they charge us according to that lifetime warranty. Shingles are expensive nowadays for that very reason. And so anybody who's doing rapid fire on a roof uh, with their nail gun, I guarantee you, if you check their nail pattern, they are not, not hitting this nail line. And that is critical that they hit it. And I'll show you my work. And I am not by any means fast. I'm not super slow, but I'm not fast either. And this is why, you see where that nail line is? I'm within three quarters of an inch across that entire shingle. Every single row. That is critically important. You see that? I just wanted to point that out to y'all because that's the industry standard, not bop, 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 bop. Because bop, 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 bop is a bunch of BS. And we all know that money talks and BS walks. I've heard more roofers over my 30 years of roofing talking smack about how many squares they can lay down and how fast they can go and how slow I go by comparison. Every one of them has a chip on their shoulder. Every one has of them so far that I've heard has a little attitude complex about how great their roofs are and how fast they can put them on. And they're just full of BS. And this is just another reason why. So the next time you hear that machine gun in the distance of somebody or five or 10 guys putting on a comp shingle roof in your neighborhood, now you know why they're going so fast. And to be honest with you, I'm very tempted to call uh, code enforcement every time I hear it because I know that those guys are going home with a paycheck and the customer suffers because there is no way if that's nailed wrong and it blows off or those those nails pull through and cause a leak there is no way that customer is going to get the manufacturer to stand behind their warranty thank you very much crappy labor installation and so anyways I just want to make y'all aware of that and let's raise the bar i know this is very prevalent it's one of my pet peeves as you could probably hear my tone i'm irritated by it i've been annoyed about it for years but i've done quality control for decades and uh i like to see the the customer get a good shake for his money uh no pun intended all right so that's enough of my acting i hope this was helpful probably not going to be too helpful to the roofers y'all are going to hate me for this but the customers love me for this because i care about their money being well spent i care about quality control more than i care about other uh, roofers uh you know clicking like on my videos okay yeah this gets under my skin because it's corrupt and it's uh it's very underhanded and the guys do it as fast as they can. They get on, uh, you know, to the next project and the customer suffers. So raising awareness is the first step uh, to bringing back craftsmanship and equity into the industry and for the customer to actually benefit and to have, uh, you know, add longevity to their roof when they get installed. And they pay thousands of dollars to have a roofing company come out and install their comp shingle roof well they ought to get their money's worth out of that so all right enough of that um no more complaining from me uh today uh, you know it's the new year and uh got a lot of subs haven't been able to do a whole lot of videos these last two today are the first time in months that I've done anything uh, just because I'm so tied up with various projects but I aim to get back on here more often try to be as helpful as I can but the most important thing to me as you uh, probably well known if you haven't figured it out already is quality control 
So y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all, all the subs. And uh, click like if you found this video helpful. Leave your comments, questions down below, and I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. And God bless. Dan out.